This video will be a guide to SmackDown and Super Power Buster, currently one of my favorite builds to play, and you guys have been asking for a guide for this Pokemon. Because there are certain things you have to know how the passive works and how you know you can reset your moves and in general how to play this Pokemon. Buster is quite interesting, he's a melee all-rounder, he does a lot of damage, he's pretty vulnerable to getting stunned, he has very strong early game, his late game is a bit weak, but he can absolutely take over games, slower games, and again, he's just incredibly fun to play. He can be placed both played in jungle and lane. But mostly with team played in lane just because as a jungle Pokemon, he's not good enough for the reason that his late game is just not strong enough, right? You can win laning phase very hard and then you just hope that you have a jungle carry at some point for later on that takes over, right? You can still do also very good in late game, of course, but his main point is, you know, from level 1 to like level 13 or from like start of the game to like minute 6 or 7 and then you have to have your other Pokemon kind of take over a bit for you as well. This doesn't mean that he's completely useless late game. No, he's not completely useless late game. He can also just still one-shot someone. He can one-shot Pokemon easy. Team fighting can just be a bit difficult. This is the build I currently play. Muscle Band, Attack Rate, Floatstone. Muscle Band just for attack speed and early game damage. Attack Rate because our superpower has pretty good scalings. We increase our damage by a lot. And also Floatstone to catch up to targets easier. If you don't like playing Floatstone, you can also just do a Focus Band. Eject Button always because we can do Eject Button into Smackdown. And that is just very important. And for emblems, I would just recommend, you know, some six brown four white and we focus as well always on it flat attack or flat hp we start the game off with mega punch and face stinger mega punch is just a dash in a direction and you can't control where it goes or you can't control what range it is it's always the same range and it can sometimes make across voids but it's a bit awkward like certain voids can't be made with this you have to be very careful like you can see right here um you always have to have a certain amount of distance to actually make it across voids but just some early game a bit of dash you can see it's very easy to get stuck on voids with this you have to be very very careful with it and then we have face stinger face stinger is the highest damage level three move in the entire game you can see right now face stinger bam does 1408 damage so let's explain the passive of buff bus oil you can see under my hp bar you see the the red bar fading up right that's the muscle gauge that you have to build up. And the more you have, the more either Face Stinger, Super Power, or Leech Life will do in damage. So we can see as an example, this is 1308 damage. And this only does 805 damage. And so you always want to build it up if you can early game. And then go for like a nice last hit. Um, depending on how far you have, you know, charged it up, right? Very straightforward. And this is your insane ability for last hitting because it does so much damage. You only have to be careful because it's quite easy to block. So when an enemy Pokemon stands on top of a white Pokemon, Face Stinger will always target the opposing Pokemon. So you always have to be aware that Face Stinger can actually miss the last hit and go for the enemy Pokemon instead. Let's talk a bit about the, about the passive again. So every auto attack gives us a charge. You can see up to six. And a basic attack, a boost auto attack, gives us two of these. And this is how we build it up. And then also hitting abilities. Let's say you do a Mega Punch. Right now you can see it also builds up. Boost auto attack two again. And then the moves also later on that we get will start building up this muscle gauge. On level 5, we either pick up Leech Life or Super Power. Super Power is currently the better move. And in the sky, I will only talk about this thing. Um, it's a small dash. Like you can see, it's a small dash in direction. And we grab a target and you can fling it around. Depending on where your left cursor goes, you can fling it to the left side, you can also fling it forward, you can fling it around if you want, just 360 with it, and uh, whatever whatever you prefer. And uh, it does damage to opponent, opposing Pokemon, and it also, again, depletes our muscle gauge, right? So if we charge it up, now we do a lot more damage with this ability as well. And you can actually fling it on top of other things, like here as an example. You can see it actually has quite big area as well, of effect of where it lands if it deals damage to those Pokemon. Here again, you can see the, the area is massive, so it's something very important for Basol to actually re realize this, because you can always fling, so let's say, white Pokemon, enemy Pokemon, into others as well. Superpower doesn't really work against unstoppable targets, but it kind of does. So as Regirock as an example, obviously unstoppable, right? You can see we don't fling it, right? We will still grab it, and we can still do damage, though, with that kind of Pokemon. So there's a way of hitting these Pokemon as well and being good at last hitting with uh, Basol. So what you can do is you can fling back your control to the left and then back, back to the right and we can hit him with this final like damage. You can see right here. So this is very important because this allows you to actually last hit with Basol on these objectives with superpowers when it allows you to take them down. So fling, fling to the right, fling back into it and we will hit the Pokemon. I was dying here to Regirock. So very very cool. You can do it. Of course you have to practice a bit. Again I missed it there as well. The easiest way is just fling it to the left and then fling it to the right. Also since I took some HP now um, the boost auto attack actually here it's before we talk about the next move right here you can see every time our boost auto attack hits we hear it twice I mean we hear it twice every here for every auto attack it's a double auto attack so we hear it twice with it so then we pick up smackdown this is where the build starts to become very strong smackdown is another dash in direction as you can see it's a small dash and we punch our opponents into the air they start flying they also do damage on the ground they're landing on 
And we can reactivate that smackdown to land on our opponents. Like this. And that's the law of CC. So we do like a smackdown. They're stunned. Our superpower fades up. And we can do a lot of damage. So every time we smackdown spawn first, you can see we get two stacks of our muscle gauge. And when it lands, we get another two stacks of it. So we have a zero right now. We do once. It lands. And we have two now. Which is very important to know because a basic attack gives you also a stack. So to maximize early game damage, um, very straightforward is if we do, we can do basic attacks in between the smackdown. So if we do smackdown, basic attack, land on it, auto attack, we have a full build master gauge, which also going to be very important uh, when we get to level 11, where we get a plus, which I'll also talk about in a second. And you can throw enemies across walls as well like this. And also land, so it can also be used as an escape tool. So you know, you want to run away, you do the spy toy, you jump with it, and you can easily escape certain scenarios. You can also combine it with the eject button and do some hilarious plays, which I like doing. So you can also just do, I mean, you can do smackdown into eject button, and the enemies might not surprise, get surprised by it, right? You can also do smackdown into eject button. This one's a bit trickier though. We do eject button to this direction, or smackdown to this direction, and then eject button behind the target, and we can throw him into our team. Um, this also takes a bit of practice, of course. It's nothing you should always do, but it's quite, quite hilarious when it works. And we can just do something like this, <laughs> and it's very hilarious. On level 9, we get our Unite move. So this one is quite bad, honestly. It's a skill shot and a line. And then we lock onto one target that's the lowest on HP, and we start slamming the ground. This one does execute damage. The lower someone is on HP, the more damage it will do. It can also damage to white Pokemon a tiny bit, like this, you can see. Um, it does, it's, it's kept against it, but yeah, it doesn't lock onto them, so if they're in the area, though, they will also get hit by it. This move is quite bad, I would say. It's probably one of the worst things about Basol. Um, you kind of just die during it, but it's a good finish-off tool, right? If someone is low on HP, you just use it on them and try to finish them off. And uh, I actually haven't talked about the passive yet. The passive of Basol is that if he knocks out a target, he gets move speed and attack speed. So you kind of just want to, you know, you try to go for a KO, use your, uh, your ultimate to get that reset, and then you can just run away and be faster. Obviously, you can't show it right now because I can't knock out this thing right here. But off a knockout, you get move speed and attack speed, which I'll show later in the gameplay, of course, as well. But before we talk about the plus moves again, this is the normal combo right here in early game. Smackdown, basic attack, lens, smackdown, auto attack, and then superpower. So very straightforward. Again, smackdown, basic attack, land. Um, unless you have a boost auto attack up. So the funny part with the boosted auto attack is that if you have a boost auto attack, you get two, right? So then you don't have to auto attack another time after landing. And you can just do something like this. Also early game, let's say the opponents are walking towards your goal. You can also just do a superpower first into a smackdown. That's also totally fine. Otherwise, normally, if you want to look for a KO, you can also just do... Um, you can build up your muscle gauge on white Pokemon as well. So now you can just auto attack something and you can walk into a fight with a full muscle gauge. It will slowly deplete, but it's going to be up for quite a while. So we just auto attack stuff. We auto attack once again. We keep our muscle gauge. Auto attack something again. We walk into a fight and we just start maybe with our super pound and we smack down them into our team and hope our team has enough damage. If you have no muscle gauge right as well, you can always just do a smackdown into super power. And as remember also, you can smack things into other things, which is also very important. So let's talk about the super power plus. What does it do that makes it so different? Every time your muscle gauge gets fully filled now, it completely resets the cooldown of your smackdown, uh, of your superpower. So, the superpower, and you can see right now, if we get to mus maximum muscle gauge, it's up again. So this changes the combo to the fact that we just start with superpower if we can. So this is the whole damage. So we do superpower, into smackdown, basic attack, basic attack as well in between, into another superpower. You can also again build up your superpower or your muscle gauge on wild Pokemon, walk into a fight like this, and pretty much one-shot any target. Right? Like this can one-shot any target, of course this guy is quite squishy right now, but we just do this, into smackdown, and then we have another superpower, and we can even do... Okay, I went onto the bunny for some reason now, but you know what I mean, right? You can walk into a fight with a full muscle gauge, and this does crazy amount of damage and can almost one-shot any target in the game, especially when you have attack bait stacks done. And it's not over yet though. On level 13 it changes again. Because on level 13 our smackdown gives us more muscle gauge. So we get to level 13. Smackdown. And now you can see. In the land we only need one basic attack now. We actually get one more muscle gauge. So basic combo after level 13 again is superpower. Smackdown basic attack. We land and then we superpower again. So yeah. It's it's amazing honestly. And that's where all the damage comes from in Buzzword Slay game. You can also attack at the end, but I would also attack at the beginning, because attacking at the beginning, um, they're still stunned, right? So superpower, smackdown, basic attack, land on them, and then superpower again. And this is pretty much your entire late game damage.
Honestly, I think that's most lit. You have to be very careful because Basu likes getting stuck in walls. So you always got to be careful that, you know, like this, you can see it right there. On walls like this is an example. It, it's very easy to just get messed up by walls or any other things that are in the game. So always be very careful. You get say, like this. Okay, this one didn't get stuck on. But yeah, you can see like this as an example. Um, it's very easy to get stuck on voids. Or if an opponent just barely makes across the wall, you might not end there with your smackdown. This Pokemon is quite awkward to play. Um, but yeah, it's actually very straightforward. You just run around. You either build up your muscle gauge or you just engage a fight. Your superpower into a smackdown. Land on them and then do another super punch. Try to hit as many targets as you can as well. Again, superpower does a crazy amount of damage. And it can even land on other opponents. And that's pretty much the most important thing for Basol. While editing, I realized I made a mistake and forgot something. Superpower also gives you a shield depending on how much muscle gauge there is, but only on superpower. So superpower, you can see we get a shield. And then if you build up our full muscle gauge, the shield is even bigger. So it also gives Basol some survivability. So let's jump into some gameplay to explain it a bit better. We want to use again our facing and early game for this last hitting tool. So we build up our full muscle gauge, we run off to the right side, we want to stack our tech it a bit. If the enemies have a very strong lane, you might not want to do it necessarily. Um, so we're going to go for first tech right here, and then we go decide to go for one of these things. I will go for the bottom NDD first. I will put it into this bush, bush out of vision. And again, as I mentioned, you have to be careful with face stinger that the enemy is not above it. He currently was focused on something else, so I just get the last hit. I'm going to score, and I'm going to start punching the slow poke now. Or the scarlet, you know, the scarlet right here, just auto-taking, auto-taking into full face stinger. You can see how much damage it did right here. It was a quarter of this guy's HP. We start out taking again. We have massive band early game as well, so we want to be very aggressive. I'm looking for this last hit right here, but instead I just go for the face stinger last hit onto the slow poke, and we get an easy KO. Then looking if this NDD is up, it's not. Enemy jungler's here. Just go back to our left side, and we try to get to level five, of course, as fast as possible. Make sure we don't die in laning phase too much. And now we go for this last hit as well. Face stinger, bam, 970 damage. Easy last hit if no one is around. Really, really easy. And now we just try to be safe, but get to level 5. I wait for my fasting. I try to go for it, and I do get it as well. Get this last hit. Now we have to go back to our left side. Jungler, stay here. So I eject button away. And uh, now I've got to be a bit careful. But again, I have super power now. So if I hit it, if I hit it, I, mean, I miss there, I can actually still get a KO. I do miss it there. This guy goes for our last I berry. I wasn't, don't think it was worth it for him, because I would just wait for my super power right here. Smack him onto the buy toy as well to get both. And you can see how much damage we do early game. And we start out taking this guy. He also went deep to help him out. Another superpower and 1,400 damage on level 5. Absolutely ridiculous. And just auto-taking, auto-taking, building up that muscle gauge, waiting for the next superpower. I'm going to stack, I'm going to score first once. Then we superpower the uh, NDD for another stack. Actually, I didn't get it. Wow, he was on 1 HP there. Was a bit unfortunate. Take the other bunny. We stack again. And we obviously want level 7 as fast as possible because then when we become really strong, Mega Punch is a pretty bad move, let's be honest. And when we get that smackdown, we start being super, super strong. Superpower easy to miss as well. You have to be very careful. And um, the best thing about this is though that superpower is quite low cooldown compared to Leech Life, and that's why Leech Life is actually much worse. Leech Life is pretty hilarious. It does more damage, but it's uh, easily missable and it has much higher cooldown. And again, if we get to level 11, we can always reset our superpower. So even if we miss it, we're not totally out of the fight yet. We can still probably fight in just a few seconds. Again, walking up, getting my fifth stack. And now we can, you can, this is the scenario where I meant, you don't have to always just have a full muscle gauge, right? It's so simple. I just walk up, I superpower him, and then I smack him into my team. I've, I don't really have muscle gauge right now, but I don't need muscle gauge, right? I just superpower him, smack down him into my team, and suddenly he went from here to here, right? On level 7. Super, super easy. We pick up this KO, I reactivate my smack down to jump on him, auto attack him, and uh, now we go for our last deck. I, can, I mean, I don't want to break the goal right here, but my team might break it. Oh no, my all actually didn't break it. And then, yeah. In those scenarios, you shouldn't break the goal yet. We have not a lot of points on us, right? We don't have a lot of points. And uh, we can still farm all of these minions that spawn on bot path. So we'd rather just not do it if we can. And we can start going for this Reggie. And again, as I mentioned, we can hit superpower on the Reggie with the damage. But again, sometimes I'm also just like messing it up. Um, so right here, we do a we wait until it gets slow. And then we uh, superpower it, smack it onto itself, and we get the last hit. Actually, no, Ivy saw got it. I don't even know my hint. My, my thing was even actually too late. But enemies are not there. Um, smack down this thing away, get this last hit. Superpower this guy with our muscle gauge. And he's going to start auto-taking a lot. He can't go back to his goal because I have another smackdown coming up. Don't even decide to land on it because I know he's probably gone. My Decidra gets a KO. And now we just can farm a bit more points. And then we can break the goal for more points. So we just optimize our experience right here in this game. My Decidrae went down right here, so I know they're probably coming bot side, so I'm just going to stay in this bush. My muscle gauge is fold up, so if someone face takes me into here, they're going to take a lot of damage. So I'm looking right here, just for a smackdown blindly, 
Nice Dragon Rush combo by him. But you can see my damage is hilarious right now. Just Unite Moving to get this KO. I probably didn't have to. I was hoping I would honestly hit Greninja as well to do damage to him. And now I've got to be a bit careful. Was not honestly not too good. Again, looking maybe for a superpower. Superpower smacked down to the left side. Again, we don't have to have a fully built muscle gauge. It's just we just transport them by so much distance. And that's more important than just a new knight doing extra damage. Here in this scenario as well, you can see me already trying to smack down a superpower. The slow bro onto the Greninja, who was obviously too far away. But I'm always trying to watch out in which Pokemon I can, you know, superpower them into. It's very, very important you watch out for that because that's increase your damage by a lot. Try and get this 40 in right here. And our Slowbro is going to take, but he actually cancels it, so I'm getting my 40 score in. Very nice that he paid attention. Of course, could have been quite risky, though. We smacked down this guy, take him down. And now we're almost level 11. And you can see we already have done quite well in this game. I'm looking for this guy. Superpower, smack down. And again, I kind of put him into the front direction because I know he was dead. So maybe I can still hit Greninja if he sticks around, which he didn't. Can walk up here, maybe have my team score. I smacked down this guy into Superpower, and he's one-shot. Just straight up, just straight up dead. We're level 11 right now, so I'm trying to build up my next super puff I can, but I have to check button across the wall. See the blue buff away. And uh, I can wait right here or recall, and I decide to actually stay. Looking for that smackdown right here, I actually miss it. You stay, you, st you have very low range, right, on your spells. You have to be careful. This right here is very greedy of me. I don't know why I'm doing this, honestly. Um, just, yeah, just looking for some super puff smackdowns into Unite move. And now I can actually get a KO, and this is where the passive comes in charge. So what I do right here, since I'm level 11, we super power first, then we smack down. Our thing is fully charged up again. We super pun. You can see me trying to smack it. I try to smack it onto the green as well, so get to get him a bit low. I unite move the uh, slow bro because he's pretty low on HP. It actually does 2,000 damage right here, so not too bad. I auto attack him once, and now with the reset, I can run away. And that's why I meant earlier, with that unite move, you can look for those resets, and now we can still fight this as well. I know I can win this fight, which is hilarious, right? Um, but he has no chance to win this, and it's very basic. We won't wait in, we wait in the bush. He thinks I'm running away because I'm low, and then I just wait for my superpower cooldown, which is now up. And then we superpower, we smack down, we out do some auto attacks in between to even get, you know, full back up. And then superpower, and bam! Take him down. And it's just, it's just so easy. It's just so nice. <laughs> That's why Basso is also one of my favorite Pokemon. People don't actually don't expect this damage to come out, and yeah. We can turn fights around quite easily. Take some experience right here to farm, so I can fast forward maybe a bit. We just farm these minions. And then we look for the next fight right here, maybe. Um, right here, I'm going a bit deep right now. One more auto attack and get my superpower back up. If I want to, so I eject button in onto him, knowing I just need only one basic attack to get it back up. So you can see again, because I mean, I don't know if I had to eject button right here, but you can see I'm missing one, right? This is one basic attack right here. That's one basic attack that's missing for my superpower reset. So it's still three second cooldown. So I just eject button forward, auto attack him, my superpower resets. We super pump to the left side, to my team of course, and then we take down the KO. Looking for a score maybe right here. This is going very, very, very deep, but uh, you can see that Sivin stands no chance. It is hilarious how much damage this Pokemon can do, and that's why he's one of my favorites right now too. I mean, here again, I don't have super power up, so I'm just going to smack down first, get a fully muscle gauge, spill check out the lens, and we super power into my team, and he's gone. Now there's a jump pad happening. And we just take him, we just... I mean, this 50 is quite scary, but we see most of our opponents, we just go for it. Another jump hit, some, uh, jump hit thingy hits. I try to superpower him. Um, he's unstoppable, so again, unstoppable targets can't be superpowered. Always we gotta be very careful, so we wait until it's gone. My next superpower's up, because I build my muscle gauge back up to full. Just by auto-attacking. Looking for that smackdown right here. And uh, we get some nice more KOs 50 seconds before Rayquaza. Got, all the, got the next objective coming up. We take it. Actually, green does it. I actually miss here. This is where I mess up. Like, I mean, it's just very easy. Just flick to the right, flick to the left. And I try to go for it right here as well. And it actually was enough damage. There I did it, but I actually thought I'd do more damage. And the green actually steals it away. Quite, quite annoying. We build up our full muscle gauge again. We smack down or we superpower him. But you can always, you always have to just pay attention to your muscle gauge, right? So my superpower is on cooldown. I know if I do one more basic attack here, I have a backup. So as soon as I have basic attack, I'm already aiming my superpower. And you can see instantly comes out, and we get the KO. So always pay attention to your muscle gauge. Very, very important. Now the slow bro, I don't know what he's doing. Classic slow bro, I feel like in solo queue, that was a bit weird. <laughs> this, this looks so weird as well. Like, superpower someone unstoppable. Look at this. It's quite funny. Like, I'm T-posing. <laughs> I smack him around. Because he's, uh, you know, I can't, I can't superpower him. And then the emanation sometimes bugs out. 
But like in team fights or team fights in general, you want to keep your eject button for the most important target on the enemy team because you kind of want to smack down the eject button, the most important Pokemon, which I don't know, I don't know this game, maybe the Greninja, whatever the enemy carry is. I'm just waiting right here. If anyone face checks, here we go. Superpower, smack down to the left, and superpower again, and he's dead. He even died before my second superpower because we had so much damage on him there with my team as well. Now Rayquaza is dropping super, super low. I'm just kicking the guard from the way so he can't go for it. I unite move towards Rayquaza to make sure we get it. Eject button after this guy. And we take down the guard jump as well. And then we surrender. Pretty, pretty good Buster game. Um, I also want to show off something else. Right here is a good example of building up your Muscle Gauge to just one shot a target. So right now I'm not going to use my moves onto this Altaria because I know someone else might be coming here, right? So I build up my Muscle Gauge. And now we go for the uh, Azumarill. Superpower, Smackdown, its next one is up. And we pretty much one shot a level 13 Azumarill just with this combo. Very, very basic. Very, very nice. So again, build up Muscle Gauge. On two white Pokemon, knowing that maybe someone comes around, because I mean, this is something we have one contest, right? So I go into the bush out of vision, and then we just instantly superpower Smackdown. I still do always an auto attack in, because I mean, it's just important to get this auto attack, it's just extra damage. And then as soon as we land, we want to target our next superpower instantly, though. So there we go, superpower stun, and the guy is down. And to last, it's just a fun example of throwing, say, th like throwing white Pokemon to enemies, like here. Instead of just using the Pikachu, I just throw the white Pokemon <laughs> into the Pikachu. And then we also do the same for the Clefairy right here. We grab it, smack it, and it actually has so much range. It's quite hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Um, if there is anything I, li I left or I missed out on, let me know in the comments. There's sometimes, sometimes I forget certain things. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot, though. And I will see you guys in the next guide. Have a good one, guys.